Six months ago, the Federal Inland Revenue Service, FRS, signed a memorandum of understanding with professional bodies to standardize tax practices towards improved revenue collection. Now, the service has brought together council members for implementation. We we'll have more plan Dakok with that. Tax evasion has been a global phenomenon, but for the Federal Inland Revenue Service, blocking loopholes and generating more revenue is paramount for the smooth running of the economy. The collaboration between the service and the Chartered Institute of Taxation of Nigeria, CITN, the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Nigeria, ICANN, and the Association of National Accountants of Nigeria, ANAN, is to ensure accuracy and completeness of value-added tax elements and other taxes. It's all about collaborating to making sure that we fix the tax system in Nigeria so that we are able to optimize the revenue for the three tiers of government. This is the one that has is been used to fund social amenities. This is the one that is being used to pay for security and safety of our lives. So that is why we are taking this very seriously. The professionals wrap minds on the next steps to take regarding tax regulation with focus on intelligence, strategic data management, and adopting renewed strategies to deter financial reporting fraud among others. You will realize that as uh, stakeholders in terms of issues of returns, we all own certain things we need to do for a return to be valid. And that is why we felt that, look, we should stick to the areas where we have the highest level of competency. Uh, I want to say that in the past few years, the entire tax system has improved remarkably. We have seen so much efficiency. We are just contributing to it. We are all stakeholders in this. Building trust, building collaboration. They agreed that all tiers of government would sidestep budget deficit if revenue is improved, resultant from the intent of this collaboration. In Abuja, Muplang Dakok, NCN News.